Well, the NSC and IM delegation led by its General Secretary, Twingaling Moiva, is back to Camp Hebron from Delhi. This was informed to Northeast Life by NPFA's Lecture Party leader, Azo Neno, in an exclusive conversation with Northeast Life Kohima correspondent, Sarah Konya. While speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, Nehru informed that while the delegation led by V.S. Atem returned on December 7th, T.H. Muiva returned on the 13th. Significantly, Nehru informed that the NNPG has held another round of meet with interlocutor A.K. Mishra on December 8th. Nehru added that both the NSC and IM and NNPGs are on the same page now and the ball is in the court of government of India to clinch a solution. No, so viewers now let's listen into the full conversation. Well, Mr. Ninu, uh, since the General Secretary, Mr. T.H. Muiva, had left for Delhi to uh, continue the talks with the government of India, all the parties, both the Naga national political groups as well as the uh, government of India has been very tight-lipped. Uh, do you have any uh, updates about uh, how the talks are going on? Uh, <clears throat> through my sources only. You see, I'm told that Muiva had returned on 13th of December. Then the NSN IM team led by VS Atem, they have returned on 7. Then the 7 NPGG, they left on 7 and they returned, they had a meeting with AKMS around 8 and they returned on 9. Now their tune, their voice, their language has all become the same. Previously, these two, two parties, I am and the seven MPGGs. They could not look eye to eye with one another. They could not talk. They could not come to a common table also. But after the 4th September joint continent signature signed, then the October meeting in Kolkata for two, three days, I think uh, they are coming to a logical conclusion. Because what I heard from my sources is that uh, almost everything is cleared and common draft is about to be uh, be made public also. Moreover, now the entire ball is in the court of government of India. If the government of India is serious, then this time around, during this winter parliament session, that is, parliament session has started from 7th of uh, December, it will be winding up on 29th of December. So during this parliament session, if they are sincere about bringing a logical conclusion to the Naga political issue, they will table it for parliament's approval. And once it, they table it and parliament gives its approval, that will become the instrument or mechanism to withhold the elections. That is all. But if it is not tabled again, that means election will be held as scheduled. And that shows the insincerity of the government of India. Now, last, I've been repeatedly saying this. Last 2018, Nagas, Nagaland has gone into election with the BJP slogan called election for solution. Till today, we're waiting for that results, whether they really mean, or not, mean it or not. I don't know during this 2023 with what slogan they'll come out. So I leave this the ball in the court of the NDA government in the center, led BJP government, I mean. Well, Mr. Nuno, you have uh, stated that uh, almost uh, everything has been uh, cleared and the common draft is also likely to be made, uh, to be bring out in the public domain. So uh, are you also saying that, uh, as per your sources, are you also saying that the government of India and the NEC and IM have come to terms with regard to their contentious uh, you know, the two contentious issues of a separate flag and a constitution? Yeah. The, regarding the constitution, their Yezabo will be incorporated in the constitution that previously also they have agreed. Now coming to the flag, I'm made to understand that government of India has permitted them to use it as, an, as they like. So you're saying so that... So civil flag. So, uh, well... Uh, if I may, the Nagas uh, earlier uh, have been using the uh, Naga flag on various occasions. Right, right. 
so it really does not make a difference when uh, it is being said that the government of india uh, has agreed to the nagas to use the flag uh, you know um, uh, uh, in, in, whatever manner, in whatever manner except in the government institutions yeah. so uh, to what i can understand is that the government of india still remains uh, their stand still remains the same on the demand of the nsc and i flag flag yeah the demand is the same because you see in a democratic country two flags cannot fly parallel so in the statutory offices the indian flag will fly but our our naga flag will can we can use it anywhere that's what i'm made to understand since the winter parliament session is uh, underway do you think that our two mps uh, the rajya sabha and the lok sabha mp should strongly uh, you know voice out bring this matter that uh, nagash that the final solution should come at early years uh, do you think that they should uh, do that of course now is the time to voice if they don't voice it this time around when where they will voice it i think uh, naga publics should question them also why they are representing us they are representing us to bring out and pinpoint out issues the important issues and the most important issue is naga political issue so i think they should voice it out well uh, a lot of uh, some political parties from the state as well as individual leaders uh, politicians veteran politicians uh, in some of their statements they have stated that president rule should be bought in the state of nagaland do you think that is logical no 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 absolutely not you see to bring about president rule it can come about uh, with just two good reasons one is mismanagement of financial finance then the other is law and order when we come in to see about the law and order i think everything is very normal and finance finance part i'm sure there are some hiccups here and there but it has not gone extreme where president's rule can be imposed i don't see reasons last question to you nagas have been yearning for peace for the last many decades mm -hmm. and talks have been going on for the last more than 25 years uh, can the nagas this year is almost coming to an end 2022 can the nagas expect something good by next year at least true solution yes well uh, if the solution doesn't come before election i think uh, it'll take another some more years again i don't think it'll come very near because you see when we go to election we all know that election in nagaland is very expensive so when the candidates throw huge of money for elections and when they come and occupy their seats they may not like to vacate it so this is the right time to bring about a logical conclusion to the long portrayed nagaland political issue if not it may take another few years again